this is Ali here and I'm just going to show you a really little trick or help how to solve if your Safari doesn't work on your MacBook Pro Air. So this is, um, if I go into Safari here, double click, nothing happens at all. And this, but it doesn't open at all. So I am just going to do a quick fix. Right. So there are a few things that you can do depending on your problem or your max problem. So some um, some of these will work for some of the uh, issue and your Safari will look, start working again. So at least it's a good shot for somebody. So we if it doesn't work, I mean, I'm just trying to open it. It doesn't work at all. So we go to help and we search your library. Okay, there's library here. The matter of fact, once we are here, <clears throat> so you just scroll down until you see where is preferences here. So you open the preferences and you are right at the files here. So we're going to, well, you need to locate a file called Apple, sorry, it says com.apple system preferences dot plist, whatever that means. So, <laughs> okay, so we got to find out there's so many so it's com dot system that's not the one so where can it be system preferences system preferences there you go we got it okay so what we need to do is we need to remove this move to trash once that's confirmed we just empty the trash okay all good close it we're gonna restart the Mac and let's see if this helps so after the restart if the first step did not help so there are more things to do the next thing we need to go to library uh, safari folder same we are in the library folder uh, that you can just go into help and search and type library and you'll come up to this folder now we need to locate the folder called safari where is there you go right so uh, once we are here we need to delete two files one is history.plist or last session.plist so we got history.plist where it's going to be last session that's one thing so we we'll move to trash uh, so if you got any history dot Okay, we don't have any history dot plus, so we leave that aside. Let me just check. Right, so once we deleted that, if there's any any file called history dot plus, we're gonna remove that. But as I don't have it, we go back again. And the third option we need to do is go to the catches folder, which is got to be somewhere here. And then metadata, where it is, we need to look at that one. Go further down, metadata. Then we go to Safari folder. And from here, we need to remove the contents of the folder. So anything in the folder, we just send it to trash. That's done. <clears throat> so we go to cookies folder from the library now. 
So these th these are the steps that you need to follow, and th you know one of these steps will help you out. Um, <clears throat> So we need to find the cookies dot plus to where is it gotta be? Or you can just remove the cookies folder. Anyway, if that is not it, we're just gonna just gonna remove this. Move to trash. That is done. Right again. So um, the last thing that we need to do is um, we need to go to the um, the folder called enter internet plugin from the library which is right here so things are nothing are here so we're gonna restart the Mac restart Restart. So there we go, guys. This is how you fix your issue if you are um, Safari don't work on your Mac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. Doesn't matter which Mac you got. You need to try out these, and one of these should help. You can either check for updates for the Mac or update for the safari if all of these doesn't work you know um, there might be another option i guess it's gonna take a bit of time to load up and that's fine but thank you very much guys for watching this video please give it a thumb up and subscribe and share my channel i'm coming to to like at this point and get some more uh, helpful video for you guys and um, please watch out thank you bye